Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about my favorite like unisex perfumes that are very unique to me and to my collection. Stuff that I have like gathered throughout the years that are fairly easy to get a hold of because I feel like sometimes when we talk about perfumes, sometimes when we talk about unique or different perfumes, we always go into those little niches or like indie brands that can be absolutely lovely but also a little hard to get a hold of. So I am actually going to mention one, two, three, four, five that's fine. Five different what I think are unisex perfumes that would fit anyone that are a little bit unique to my collection that are fairly easy to get a hold of. And if you want to see some more beauty videos on the channel, definitely don't forget to subscribe because I upload so many videos every week about different subjects when it comes to beauty, skincare, makeup, all of that. And I'm trying to venture into perfumes as well. So if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> I want to quickly just give a shout out. If you have not been on my channel before, I love perfume. Perfume is actually my absolute favorite item when it comes to beauty. You can take everything away from me. You can take my skincare, my makeup, all of it, but I want to keep perfume. I love perfume. I spray myself with perfume at least twice a day at least once in the morning and once before I go to bed. I have different perfumes for different like occasions. I don't have an absolutely humongous selection of perfumes but I like perfumes a lot and what I really like is perfumes that are leaning a little bit more on the masculine or unisex area of things. I do buy perfumes that are labeled for women as well. I personally think that you can buy whatever you want. I think that all perfumes are unisex but when you talk about something being masculine or feminine it doesn't really have anything to do with the sex of someone. You can love feminine stuff being a man, being a woman, being non-binary and vice versa. It doesn't really matter but sometimes it's easier to describe stuff so that you understand if I label them as feminine, masculine or unisex and these are going to be things that I think are unisex, meaning that whatever you like, whoever you are out there in the world, I don't think anyone would tell you, what are you wearing? Because I feel like these are pretty gender fluid. Let me talk about the perfume that is unfortunately discontinued, but this is the perfume that sparked my joy and for discovering that maybe what I like is more unisex perfumes because I've never been the person that has really like fell in love with all of these vanilla or florally or super sweet perfumes. I think they're lovely and I especially think they're lovely on others. But when it comes to those kind of perfumes, there are very few that I love. And this is DNG uh, L'Amoureux. I am not pronouncing that correctly read French for five years, still struggling. This is unfortunately discontinued. But this is a wonderful woody, but still, I think it has like, let me actually pull up the notes. Hold. This one has juniper berries, bergamot, pink pepper, birch, cardamom, orris root, woodsy notes, and musk. And what I really can tell is the juniper berries, the bergamot, and the cardamom. And then, of course, the woodsy notes in the background. And that's what really drew me into this. This is my second bottle, by the way, and the reason why I'm not using this so much is because it's discontinued. And this started my passion of wanting to buy stuff that maybe wasn't the typical uh, feminine perfumes. Nothing wrong with that, but I just want to give you other options. So the second thing that I actually bought that was labeled as a unisex perfume, and I know that in some department stores, this one is amongst the female perfumes, and in some department stores, this is amongst the male perfumes. This is that perfume that department stores just do not know where to put. And this is the Hermes Eau de Roubaix Eclaté. Again, my French is so-so, I'm doing the best I can. This is a fairly expensive perfume and Hermes themselves do describe this perfume as having the top notes, rhubarb, the middle notes, rhubarb, and the base notes, rhubarb. I myself do not 100% agree with that. I always thought that this one smelled a little bit of red currant. This is the only one so far for me, for me. I'm not, I'm, I love perfume, but I'm not a snob and sometimes 
I, I like smelling good. I'm not a snob and I haven't really ventured into a lot of like obscure indie brands when it comes to perfumes. This is the only perfume that I have come across that is truly fruity, but at the same time unisex. Cause this doesn't have a lot of those things that sometimes comes with the fruity perfumes, the sugar and the sweetness and the vanilla and the floralness. This is just rhubarb and a bit of like warmth in the background. Let me tell you the notes according to Fragrantica. I think Fragrantica is really good when it comes to learning about the like the different notes of perfumes. I don't necessarily love it for reviews because people are extremely snobby on Fragrantica and they can be nitpicky in a way that's just not very helpful, but the top notes of this one, according to them, is described as rhubarb, which I agree, it's what you smell the first, but then the middle notes are red berries, and I agree, that's also something that I noticed, and the base notes are white musk, and that is what lingers afterwards. This is just a really nice, fresh, summery, spring-summer scent that's just giving you that fresh, wonderful fruitiness without being too sweet. I love this one. I think it's absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, it is a little expensive, but it's one of the most unique perfumes in my collection and I'm so, so happy I have it. The next one I want to talk about is something that is a million percent labeled as a men's perfume. How do I know this? It's because it's called The Man. <laughs> this is the Yves Saint Laurent Lom. So this is a men's perfume. This is the original Lom. This is not the one that's like Nui or Intense or any of that. This is the original one, the one with the um, like silvery cap. I have the small bottle. I've used, I want to say a third of this. This has been my go-to perfumes for dinners. I want to say, not, how often do I go to a nightclub? Not very often, but like dinners, clubs. I don't even go to clubs, but if I were to go to one, this is the one that I would use. It is very, very sexy. And this is the kind of perfume, again, if you like a deeper perfume, something that is a little sexy, and this is very spicy. Very spicy and very citrusy. It is like a spicy citrus, but I don't think that this necessarily only goes towards men. I think that this is a wonderful perfume on women as well. I wear it a lot and I think that this one fits me wonderfully and if you're the kind of person that wants something that's a little deeper, a little sexier, something for night times, this is a wonderful, fresh, but still spicy scent that I personally think is unisex. I don't know, I know that everyone is going to agree with that, but I think so. Let me tell you about the notes because yes, this is described as a warm, spicy citrus scent. Million percent agree with that, million percent agree. This one has ginger, bergamot, and lemon as top notes. And this is what gives it that freshness that I feel just breaks through and prevents it from being what I call either a sweaty or a basement smell. Sometimes things become so like deep and so like almost smoky that they just become a little bit too much. And this one has that top note, that like fresh citrusy thing. Mill notes, spices, violet leaf, white pepper, basil, and base notes is tonka bean, cedar, and Tahitian vet ever. Vet ever? Is that how you say it in English? I'm not 100% sure, but I think that this is beautiful. This though is a pretty, I don't want to say heavy, but it's definitely not it's not a running to the gym or maybe, you know, having a picnic in the park. I feel like this is a sexy dinner, but for me, this is a unisex scent and this has been my like nighttime perfume for quite some time. If we want to talk about everyday perfumes, I feel like a lot of people go for something that's fresh. You know, you want to have a fresh scent. I call them laundry detergent scents because I feel like a lot of these fresh scents, fresh linen, newly washed towels, soap, clean, you know how that aesthetic, it's never been my vibe. It's never been my vibe. That's not how I want to smell. But at the same time, there's often moments where I want to smell fresh and light for a brunch. <laughs> I want to say heading to the gym. I haven't had to gym in Lord knows how many years. That's also, that's not my journey. It's not what I do. But like this kind of an everyday scent, it could be your office scent or that could be your like fresh scent. If you don't want to go with the clean soap, laundry, detergent kind of a scent, I would recommend 
the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. This is, according to me, again, I haven't smelled everything, and please do leave suggestions down in the description box of things that you think that I would like based on what I'm telling you right here. Let me know what you would like, like me to try because I'm open to suggestions. But I also am a little weary of trying super, super small indie things because sometimes I feel like they're not as sophisticated as I want. I'm also going to share my wish list for a new perfume that I want to guess. I'll, I'll do that for the end. But this is my choice of perfume when it comes to like a light, clean, everyday perfume. And I have not myself smelled something that is this fresh and this like light everyday perfume while still being unique because it is very unique this is indeed wood sage and sea salt there is something salty about this it's just so wonderful it is like a fresh salty wood it is so wonderful if you are looking for an everyday fresh perfume but you are sick of the soap perfumes i would recommend this one let me tell you about the notes because one of my favorite perfumes i cannot believe i only use this much because i feel like i use it all the time i really like jo malone i have a lot of jo malone perfumes i think that jo malone the fragrance brand is really good at creating scents that are wearable and not too complicated while still being somewhat unique. This one is described as an aromatic and salty. And I a million agree, percent agree with that. The notes are, hello, hello. The notes of this one is sea salt, sage, grapefruit, uh, ambrette, and seaweed. And yeah, there is a... I would definitely agree with this because you can definitely tell tell with the salt and the sage and there's also some kind of warmth in there and the seaweed definitely because there is something that does remind you of a day at the sea without being like rotten fish. Nobody wants to smell like a <laughs> fish village by the sea. Nobody wants to smell that. But there's something about this that really is a fresh day at the sea and then a little bit of, of the grapefruit, just that little... Uh, it's what gives it that like everyday fresh feeling. So yeah, I million percent recommend this one. I will of course link everything down in the description box in case you're interested. I also did film this look and I will link that as well down below in case you are interested. Speaking of salt scents, this is one of my newest scents to my collection. I've smelled this so many times and I finally decided to get the Ellis Brooklyn Salt. This one is a perfume that my husband actually doesn't like because he says it smells like sweat. And this is actually described as an amber, animalic, musky perfume. And I agree with that because I think that this one, I think it smells like, you know when you really, 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 really like someone that everything about them smells good, even their sweat smells good? This is what this one is. This is the smell of the sweat of someone you find extremely sexy. So it's like in the best way possible. And you might think like, oh, I don't know about that, but it's, it, it just smells very sexy in that way. And I feel like I would not, I, I wouldn't question anyone of any gender wearing this one. I think it is really cool and yeah, I fell in love with this one the first time I smelled it. I was actually in Las Vegas with Samantha March and then I showed it to my husband when we were at Sephora together and he was like, I don't know about this one. And then I showed it again to Samantha when we were in New York and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna get it because I think it's so nice. This one is described as the top notes being Yalang Yalang, uh, violet leaves and then it's tiari flowers and magnolia as middle notes and the base notes are ambergris musk and sandalwood and i do think it is the ambergris that is giving it that animalistic scent honestly and i just think it's so wonderful there's something about this that is just so primal and so different and i love it i really love it and I love that it comes in a mini as well so like you don't have to like commit to a big one i bought the mini because I didn't want to get the big one since my husband said it wasn't his favorite. I felt like it was a little bit rude, so I decided to get the mini. But let's talk about the one that I'm wearing today. I even have the box still here as well. And this is my newest fragrance from Replica by Maison Margiela. This is the When the Rain Stops. I... 
Okay, here's the thing. I love the note Petrichor. Petrichor is basically like the smell of rain, which sounds a little bit weird maybe, but I love that scent. This is, a, the fragrance description of this one from the brand is fresh ray and sun rays. And I a million percent agree. Petrichor or like this, the, the scent of rain is basically, think of yourself in a warm summer's day there is that incredible heat, the rain starts coming, and it's the scent of rain hitting the dry earth and the warm asphalt. That is the scent of this perfume. There are perfumes out there, and let's talk about that in like my wish list portion of this video. There are scents out there that have that rain scent or like that like almost dew scent that is more uh, towards the greens, like smelling dew in a meadow or the, the scent of like a greenhouse, for example. And I think that that is more in the family of ozone, and this one is more metallic. It's more that like almost dirt or earth like underneath and if you don't like that maybe you don't won't love that but i think according to me this is the most unique perfume that i have found at like sephora because i had to go to pretty specific and weird places to find a scent that is this gritty and this like metallic and has that specific like rainstorms in the summer scent. This is my newfound gem. I absolutely obsessed. It is just so absolutely wonderful. And I even convinced Samantha Marsh to buy this one when we were seeing each other because I truly think that if you buy this one, this will be your unique scent in your collection. And it's, it's, it's four. I will link it down below. I'm just so excited about this one. I think it is so, so lovely. I'm so excited that I have it. If you want to see more of perfumes, of course, let me know. I can definitely talk about it. But let's also talk about the perfume that is very, very new to the market. And it is the one that I want to get next. And this is from Issey Miyake. And this is a drop de Issey Eau de Parfum fresh. So this is a, a new one. I will pop up and show you what the bottle looks like. This is available at the Issey Miyake site and I also found them at like some kind of an obscure site that I had never heard of. But Issey Miyake is sold at like Macy's and Nordstrom. So I'm gonna keep my eyes open for this one. This was released this year. It was released in May of 2022 if I'm not totally mistaken on like my, my, my research. Let me double check. Yeah. In beginning of May this year, so I don't think that this had maybe reached the department stores yet, but this is that rain scent that is more on the green side, that doesn't have that like dirt and like metallic, that it's more on the green side. So the top notes of this one is rain notes. Sign me the fluff up. Middle notes are lilac, watery notes, and damask rose, and then the base notes are dreamwood, Virginia Cedar and Ambrox Super, which honestly I have no, I don't know what that is. Okay, let me let me read up about the Ambrox Super. This is a, a natural and synthetic note, extremely powerful and elegant ambery odor with a musky and woody tonal tease, sparklingly sensual and offers musky and woody tone lights to amber ingredients. Wow, this is. Who wrote this? Me having English as my second language, this was not easy. But apparently it's just something that brings something extra to an amber scent, I guess that. But yeah, I'm just very, very, very excited about this. It is a floral aquatic fragrance, but this is for women. This is like marketed as a female fragrance, but I did look at some of the comments because you know sometimes i want to look at the comments and there was a lot of people saying that they thought that this was also more of a unisex or even a male uh, fragrance and that made me really really interested someone said this and this this person you sold me on this perfume this is why i'm gonna get this perfume it smells like a forest after rain what else do I need? So yeah, I'm very, very excited about this. I am super, super excited. I will be picking this one up. I will talk more about that on my channel once I have it. 
Do you have any per favorite perfumes that you think are like unisex or gender fluid that you think could fit anyone that is a little bit more on the unique side? I also still have not bought the Byredo Pulp, which is also a very like fruity perfume like this one, but it's more like apples. That is slightly more feminine than this one, but I definitely think that it could also work for anyone, to be honest. I think that that one is a beautiful one. I cannot wait to pick that one up, but I kind of want to pick that one up in store, I think. Maybe I'll actually just buy it. <laughs> We'll see. I will link that down below as well in case you're interested in that one. Let me know if you're interested in seeing some more perfume uh, suggestions or perfume videos from me. I know this is probably a video that's not going to get a lot of views on my channel. This is not normally what I, what I talk about. But if you think this is interesting, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And also leave your favorites because I would love to discover some more. And I hope you're having an amazing day. And I'll see you soon again in a new video. Bye!